Hi everyone, it's Easter Sunday. Today is the day we celebrate Jesus' resurrection. Alleluia, alleluia. Resurrection is this fancy word that we use to describe God giving life to Jesus again after Jesus died. One thing we might think about resurrection is that Jesus is the only person who experience, experiences re resurrection. And we might even think, why does Jesus get to be resurrected, but other people don't get that? And that's a good question. One answer to that question is that while resurrection only happens for Jesus, resurrection is very important and helpful to his disciples, to Jesus' followers after his death. In today's gospel, we'll hear what happened when Jesus' disciples went to his tomb three days after he died. So let's listen. A reading from the Gospel of John. May God's words be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early in the morning, while it was still dark, and saw the stone removed from the tomb. She ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciples whom Jesus loved and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths bare, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The gospel of the Lord. And we all say praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When Mary Magdalene went to Jesus' tomb, she saw that the stone had been removed. She ran to get Peter and the beloved disciples. Did they find Jesus in the tomb? No, they didn't. What did they find? They found the burial cloths and the cloth that had covered his head rolled up in a different place. How do you think these followers of Jesus might have felt? I would think they were probably very confused and upset because, you know, Mary Magdalene says, you know, they don't know, you know, we don't know where they put him. So they were, I'm sure, very upset that Jesus's body was missing. You know, the disciples did not yet understand that Jesus had risen from the dead and left the tomb. In the days ahead, they will see the risen Christ and he will give them the gift of his peace. We can be peaceful knowing that Jesus has saved us from sin and is always with us. And we can rejoice today because through his death, resurrection, and ascension into heaven, Jesus brings us the gift of salvation. You know, during the season of Easter, which is from now until Pentecost, about 40 days, the church asks us to reflect Jesus on Jesus' resurrection and what it means for us as Jesus' disciples and his followers today. Maybe we can spend some time this Easter season thinking about Jesus' resurrection and the gift of eternal life that he gives each of us. So let's pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Pope Francis. May he serve the church with the tenderness of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Roya and all those that were baptized at the Easter Vigil throughout the world, and also those received into full communion of the Catholic Church. May Jesus be their life from now onwards so that they may live in charity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those struggling in life. May they be saved by Jesus, who has been raised to glory. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those things, we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's close with the psalm for today. 
and this is what it says. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. So with Alleluia on our lips, let's go forth. And remember, we are here every Sunday. We would love to see you back in Mass. And if you come to the 9 a.m. Mass, there is the children's dismissal. Hope to see you soon. God bless.